Good morning, Bande Matram. Welcome all of you. So we are going to have a nice brief discussion on concentrate in the center of aspiration. That is the topic of discussion for this great meaning, great morning. Concentrate in the center of aspiration. So the topic will be discussed wholly on concentration and that to from the writings of the mother but only one uh, line we will try to take from Sri Aurobindo so how Sri Aurobindo has uh, put his emphasis on concentration only a single message will take concentrate entirely on one thing needful concentrate entirely on one thing needful and put away if they come all ideas and forces that want to disturb it or make you deviate so everything you throw out only on single point single being single thing you want to concentrate that is what is the needful that's what sir i will try to quote it again sir in the course concentrate entirely on one thing needful and put away if they come if they come put away all ideas and forces what are coming and disturbing that want to disturb it or um, makes you deviate they disturb and you they deviate you so everything you put away and you concentrate on only a single thing you can take the example uh, in that gurukul when guru dronacharya was asking uh, what really you look at the tree uh, and you see uh, what really you find there so everybody's all the disciples who are there uh, everybody's view their watch point their imagination was uh, moving here and there but actually when the his most beloved uh, student disciple arjuna was asked what you are really observing and uh, you, uh, you are witnessing then immediate answer the, was that i only uh, concentrate and see the eye of the bird nothing else so that is where the point of concentration put your entire concentration put entire concentration in on a, on a single thing single object put away everything all ideas all forms they come they they they, they disturb you and deviate you so anyway um, as per our discussion i have already ex um, uh, hinted you that we are going to um, have a discussion from uh, mother's writings uh, we will the question was put to the mother what really this concentration is what is concentration and uh, mother explains in a beautiful way it is to bring back all the scattered thread of consciousness it is to bring back all the scattered threads of consciousness to a single point a single idea the consciousness the thread of consciousness is here and there it is scattered so to bring back these scattered threads of consciousness to a single point to single idea so those who can attain perfect attention succeed in everything they undertake how the people the beings who can do everything succeed in doing things um, they can undertake anything and uh, they will um, always uh, make a rapid progress so concentration uh, indirectly not indirectly directly it has been emphasized it brings rapid progress so in even in the material um, uh, point of view can imagine and this kind of concentration can be developed exactly like the um, muscles um, one um, uh, may follow different systems different methods of training that's what it can develop everywhere but uh, even different methods of training um, different systems are following you are following but the thing is that um, uh, this kind of consciousness can be developed again uh, today we know that uh, the most pitiful weakling, weakling for example can with discipline become a strong at the everyone else a very the weakest uh, you know uh, weakling the most pitiful weakling can become a, with the discipline become as strong as anyone else so one should not have a will which flickers out like a, a candle so candle it is just flickering with the you know, change of direction of the wind 
then changing wind direction it is actually flickering fluctuating we should not be like that there must be single and uh, winged concentration you must put your um, your uh, attempt your concentration on a single point single form single objective it must not fluctuate that is what the mother's um, point of view so the will the concentration must be cultivated the will the concentration must be cultivated it is a question of method a regular exercise of regular exercise it is not a um, one time process that you are something you are doing and within a fraction or oh, in, in a single try you will succeed mostly sometimes it even if without trying you just throw the coin and it is uh, throw the um, um, ball and it is it is hitting the target sometimes it is possible but actually it is not the thing um, that has been that is expected because um, it is a um, um, chance happening chance occurring but thing is that to it, it must be a continuous process some method must be regular exercise some particular method must be followed and this is not a one time procedure and if you will you can uh, but the thought um, what's the use most of the time that question is put behind us and that uh, of course this question appears in the mind what's the uh, use um, must not um, come into weaken the will the idea is that one is born with a certain character and can do nothing about it is stupidity you have born with a character and you have to develop it you have to focus on that how to develop it without it everything is like a stupidity so the point what really we are going to discuss right now that is something different that's what we want to see concentrate in the center of aspiration center of aspiration that's what there itself you concentrate because it is 100 percent this um, term it is actually indicating it is turning us towards the yogic procedure it is always better to try to concentrate in the center better always to concentrate in the center the center of aspiration one might um, say the place where the flame of the aspiration burns there the flame of aspiration where burns you have to concentrate there you have to gather in all energy gather all the energies there gather all the energies there at the um, solar plexus center if possible solar plexus center there itself you have to concentrate to obtain an attentive silence as though um, one wanted to listen something listen to something extremely um, subtle extremely to listen something that is extremely subtle subtle that's what you want to listen there itself you concentrate something that is that demands a complete attention that is what the center of aspiration was to, told something that depend, demands a complete attention a complete concentration total silence complete attention complete concentration total silence so uh, these have to be taken proper care of and uh, then uh, not to move at all there itself be single pointed pin pointed and uh, almost fixed uh, not to move at all not to think not to stare make the movement opening so that uh, receive all that can be received just that sort is must be uh, taken uh, do not don't move at all not think don't stare and uh, make the movement opening to the to opening so that you will receive what has to be received what is coming but um, uh, taking good care not to try to know what is happening while they are happening a lot of things will happen not to worry not to be puzzled but actually don't try to know what is happening let it happen what is happening uh, for if uh, one wants to understand or even to observe actively it gives us a sort of uh, a cerebral activity here in the mother course cerebral activity which is unfavorable to the fullness of the receptivity cerebral activity it is our um, brain we have cerebrum cerebulum cerebral hemisphere like this so it must not interfere in the mental it is all that almost the mental activity this must not uh, interfere with the things the uh, happenings what is happening there 
to be silent totally silent as possible and attentive concentration and then be still that is what complete silent attentive concentration to then be still that is the requirement if one succeeds in this if this process you have got your succeed succeeded you have got your success when everything is over when one comes out of the meditation some time later usually not immediately uh, from within the being uh, something uh, new emerges something new emerges after some time something new emerges in the consciousness a new understanding new appreciation of things new attitude of life in short new way of living so after some time you can find entirely the new way of being new attitude of life in life new understanding new appreciation that's what you can imagine you can see so um, later we are going to have one on um, concentrating the attention without concentrating the attention it is will be very difficult to succeed in life not only in spiritual but also in material format wherever we are moving that's what the mother wants to um, clarify whenever whatever you want you may want to do in life one thing is absolutely indispensable and uh, the basic of everything the capacity of concentrating the attention capacity of concentrating the attention that is the most useful thing without which the folks the success will be very rare so if you are able to gather um, uh, to gather together the rays of attention rays of attention falling here and there if you will be able to gather it and uh, rays of attention and consciousness in, in one point that maintains this consciousness concentration with the persistent will nothing can resist to it entirely here and there the consciousness and the um, rays of attention falling here and there if you can gather and put in a single point then nothing can resist it you will be persistently you have to do it whatever it may be from the most material physical development to the highest spiritual one from the most material discipline um, material physical development to the highest spiritual plane but this discipline must be followed in a constant um, and uh, it may be said um, um, imperturbable way not that you uh, should always be concentrated in on same thing that is not I mean I mean uh, um, uh, learning to concentrate you must learn not a single uh, time procedure this must be there must be consistency there must be um, your um, 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 persistently you have to do steadily you have to do everything you have to practice in life and everything you will try to better it it is not one time procedure it will be a time consuming of course you will be carrying out to through and through it, it has need of time and materially for student studies sports and physical or mental development even that's what i have already spoken not only it is progressive and useful for the spiritual lines it is also helpful for the material success material um, adventure and materially uh, example is given by mother for studies sports and all physical or mental development it is absolutely indispensable without proper concentration very feeble chance of succeeding in life even sometimes the dark adventurers seem to win in the first attempt the success sometimes we claim and we get that is not the permanent one it is it is having so many pitfalls so it is absolutely indispensable in the fields of study sports and the physical or mental development and the value of an individual is uh, proportionate to the value of attention that is a great thing it has been described um, beautifully by the mother and the value of individual is proportionate to the value of the attention how much attention properly you are um, paying you are leading uh, that's what you are giving and from the spiritual point of view it is material is gone then uh, came the spiritual point of view it is still more important without concentration it is very difficult to progress so not at all means a rare chance feeble chance is there 
so again there is no spiritual obstacle which can resist the penetrating power of concentration so in on the other way with the penetrating power of concentration concentration you can um, um, so you can overcome all the obstacles that are standing on the way so for instance the discovery of the psychic being number one union with the inner divine number three opening to the higher spheres all can be opened by an intense and uh, um, uh, of course obstinate power of concentration the stay there itself in material planes very little things were there like uh, studies sports physical and mental development here that is subtle things we are which are only known to the people who are in the spiritual lines uh, in yogic method for their discovery of the psychic being union with the inner divine opening up the to the higher spheres all can be obtained by an intense and obstinate power of concentration but uh, one must learn how to do it that procedure that training must be there that awareness must be there there is nothing in the human or even the superhuman field for which the power of concentration is not the key in other words this concentration and this power of concentration is key to everything like human and the superhuman field it can be um, you can be a best athlete you can be the best student you can have um, really the artistic literary and scientific genius you can be the greatest saint in that faculty so this power of concentration is the key it, it holds the major importance it has and everyone has in him um, himself a tiny little of a beginning it is there tiny little beginning it is there it is given to everybody but the people don't cultivate it that is the lacuna that is the problem with us so we have to know the power of concentration what really concentration means put everything in a single plane and there itself later you can go and fight every day you have to practice it in life and the third thing you can have the uh, not much on the cerebral activity not on the mind you have to put on the uh, higher planes of consciousness and for that actually everything must you uh, with with the happenings you have to concentrate in the center of aspiration <clears throat> so that um, the opening will come receptivity will grow and um, finally you can find a new understanding new consciousness new association with appreciation of things and a new attitude of life um, and uh, later uh, this um, concentration is not only required for the spiritual um, people but it is also um, needful for the material people so therefore itself with even if the it is a human um, faculty or a superhuman process concentration is the most required and uh, of course uh, to gain the genius uh, to in every field the power of concentration has got its utmost value there is no doubt of it so taking um, the things in a very collaborative or in a very positive way we have to think and uh, take um, that already we have seen that the concentration is necessary and with the power of concentration a lot can be done that you have never imagined so finally where we started there we'll, we'll try to seize concentration concentrate entirely on the one thing needful and put away um, uh, put away if they come all ideas and forces that want to disturb and make you deviate so unnecessary things you don't uh, have don't put more must uh, stress on it don't waste your time try to throw away all ideas and forces that want to disturb and deviate so entirely concentrate on one thing that is needful and put the rest away one day